Hello. All right. Today we're gonna do Cluck Old Hen, an old time favorite. <clears throat> so what I need you to do is get back into your sawmill tuning, uh, like you did on Shady Grove. Okay. So that means taking your second string and tuning it up from a B to a C. It'll sound like this. Everything else stays the same. Here's what it sounds like. first string. All right. So let's do a first string open. Then a first string at the fifth fret. Then a first string at the third fret. And then a brush thumb. And then uh, that was three notes and a brush thumb. So let's do that again. We're going to do three notes on brush drum again, and it's going to be an open first, then the fifth fret, then an open second string, then a brush thumb. Okay, so for that whole little piece, it goes like this real slowly. It goes. I said fifth string open, first string open. Now at the fifth fret of the first string, third third fret of the first string, back to the fifth, and here's where it changes. We do our second string, second fret, we do a pull off. Like that. And then we do a note at the third fret, third string. And then we do the third string open and a strum thumb. Okay, so that last part of that was. Now that's the whole A part. And what you're going to want to do is take that in sections and just slowly do it over and over again. So you feel good with it. So here we go slowly again. Let me see. I'll get a little closer here with my fingers. All right. So let's go to the B part. <clears throat> it sounds like this. 
And of course I mess it up, so here we go. So, third string open, strum thumb, and then a hammer on at the third fret of the third string, strum thumb. All right, let's do that again. Third string open, strum thumb, hammer on, strum thumb. Okay. Now, for the second part of that, we're going to do a third string open again, but instead of hammering on the third string at the third fret, we're going to hammer on at the fourth string at the fourth fret. So it sounds like this. Alright, we're just going from our third hammer on to our fourth hammer on. For the uh, the last part of that, it goes. All right. So we're doing third string open, then a hammer on the third string, and a brush thumb. Then we're coming down here to the second string, second fret, and doing that pull off again. All right. So it goes. An open second string, then the pull off. Okay, so the first part of that is an open second string, then the pull off, alright? So slowly it goes like this. And then the third string, third fret, and then the third string open. Strum thumb, right? So <clears throat> that last part sounds like this. All right, so slowly the whole B part goes like this. parts of that over uh, and over and over until you get it. I'm also going to supply you with some tab that I write up here in a moment. <laughs> I'll put it up there. <clears throat> but what, what we really want to do is we want to get a groove feeling, I guess you would call it, in our hammer-ons and our pull-offs for this song. It really makes the song come alive when you do these. <laughs> when you do these longer notes, uh, on your pull-offs and your hammer-ons, all right? So, what I'm getting at here is, you know, speed is one thing. Um, in old-time music, they do stuff fast a lot of times for dancing and stuff like that, but <clears throat> a lot of it sounds really good slowed down and given more life, in my opinion. But that's just my personal opinion, so you do whatever you want, but 